All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on our last day of Automata for day 70 of Autodesk Fusion. Today, um, what I'm going to be doing is showing how to do a motion study, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and make a drawing file and kind of get as far as we can with that within that 10-minute limit. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, under Assembly, you can click on Motion Study. And what this does is this allows you to look specifically when your object is doing its motion, what is going on. And so this is another way to kind of see your automata in action is we can click on a joint during this motion study and this timeline pops up. And so what we can do is you can very specifically at the end of it saying we want it to go one full rotation. So 360 and then we're going to hit, hit enter. And so what this thing is going to do is it's going to do one full rotation and we're going to hit repeat. And so when I hit one play, it's going to go through that motion study over and over and over again, just on repeat uh, until we uh, kind of tell it to stop. And you can look at very specifically kind of things going on. So if we do it back and forth, you can do that or you can do a one directional and then you'd have to play then every time afterwards um, but this allows you to look at the object and study how the motion of it's going on so you can pause it at certain instances and take measurements or uh, so on and so forth okay so that's a motion study now let's take a I'll take this and let's make a drawing file with it so i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and save this because i haven't saved it in a little while and now let's um, go ahead and click on file new drawing from design so if you're in my class you've already made a title block kind of in the standard of what you're dealing with so this is inches so i'm gonna click on inches and everything else is okay if you haven't made your own it's going to do a default title block totally fine if that's what you're looking for but if you're interested watch an earlier video of mine uh, day 62 i believe um, where I make a title block from scratch and then allows you to use that as a template whenever you want with that account. So I'm going to click OK and automatically is going to bring in kind of some default things. So the default things are is that this is going to be in inches and it's going to bring in an A size sheet. So I really don't care for right now on this base view and what that looks like because what I'm going to do is under sheet settings, I'm gonna change this sheet size to be an eight and a half by 11. So that way on my titles page, uh, we can go ahead and have um, our full automata up and do a text as well. So I'm gonna double click on this, do uh, Northeast isometric, and then make a shaded view. Now, uh, the problem you might run into is if you did not create your things where your front view is correct, how do you fix that? So let's say, for example, my front view is accidentally this side piece. What you're going to do is you're going to go find the piece that you want to call front. You're going to right click, set current view as home, oh, sorry, set current view as front, and then it will kind of fix everything from there. Uh, so if, you're, if you're, your isometric is not popping up correctly the way you think, you have to go back and fix your view in here. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and move this up just a little bit. To where about, about as centered as I can get it. And then for text, we're gonna do tech wherever you want your text to go. And then let's do quarter inch. No, that's not gonna be right. Let's do a half inch text. Now we'll center it. And let's call this PLTW. Actually, that's way too big. Let's do, yeah, let's go back to quarter inch. Let's make it centered. So we'll do project lead the way. Intro to engineering and design. You then put, bring your name in there. So it'd be Mr. Williams. And then maybe even today's date, so 6, 9, 2020. Go ahead and click close, and there you go. Okay, 
Now let's click on Quick Add. So the first thing I'm going to do is change my sheet size setting. You can kind of do whatever you're looking for here. It's not unless you're actually printing out these true documents. When you convert it to a PDF and you go to print it in a PDF, you can cause it tell it to shrink to size. So what I'm going to do by default is just tell my students, hey, make it I make a B size sheet, and then we'll scale this down if we're going to print these out. So let's go ahead and do our base view right here. And we're going to, when we reference, we're going to reference models that are already made. And so that front model, that first page model is already made. And we're just going to reference that. I don't think I can get away with that. So let's do um, one half is too big. One fourth doesn't look big enough. So three eighths. That looks okay. Alrighty. Now what I'm going to do now is do my projected views. So we're going to click on the parent. We're going to go top. We're going to go bottom. We're going to go right, left. But then if you try to go left again, it won't let you do it. And so we're going to hit right click, OK. Project left of that left view, which would then give us the rear. I'm going to go ahead and move this over just a hair. just so we can get some things looking nice and pretty. Alrighty, we're looking okay on time, so let's also do a projected view. Let's do a top ISO, click OK. That isometric, we're gonna make a shaded view. Click close, and that looks all right. So now let's go ahead and go in for our first piece. So this is going to be the box. And so when we do this, what we're going to do is we're going to click on base view, but we're going to create a new base view because what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect certain pieces of it. So we're going to click on the box, make the scale one half, then click OK. So depending upon what you're looking for and what um, you want in your drawing files, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an isometric view of my box. Let's even make that up. Can I make that a one-to-one? -one? Is that too big? Um, that looks okay. Over here, we're going to want certain things to be showing in this drawing file. And so I only want the box. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to suppress all except selected. Now when we did this, um, we chose to make something new, uh, referencing something new. If you try to referencing something before and then you make changes, you're going to make changes to every sheet after that. And so to show you what I mean, let's click on a new page, base view, reference. If I reference version 3, which is what I just did, it's got just the box. And so as you make references, you, you want to keep those straight as far as what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to delete, delete that. Actually, I'll probably use that later. Okay, and so what we got here is we're going to go ahead and um, I would say bring in a base view of our reference sheet and then click OK. Let's Let's make this scale just a little bit smaller. I changed my mind on what we're doing here. So this box we got right here. There we go. All right. Well, let me move over there for a second. All right, so we got the box here. I'm gonna move the box to be right about here. And let's bump up that scale a little bit. Click close. And then what we got. So let's do projected view. Let's do our right. Let's do our top. And then I think we're gonna also gonna have to do our bottom. Nope, we won't need to do the bottom. All right, so we can change the scale here if we want. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's between one half and one. 
that's three fourths. Click close. Just adjusting things a little bit so I can start to throw my dimensions. So let's go and throw in some of our dimensions. So we got our, let's do the total, four and a half, four. I don't like that. Let's do dimensions, let's fix that. Let's do dimensions, let's top to bottom, there we go. Four and a half by four and a half. We can even then say that the thickness here, from there to there, is a quarter inch, which means we would know what that is. Let's go ahead and do some of our circles while we're at it. We got, I click on once on the circle, click on that. Now, you can, if you want to, edit this text to say, you know, a diameter of 0.25, and you can say times four. And that would say each circle then has the diameter of 0.25. We're gonna add center marks on all of our circles. All right, now we need to throw in some of our hidden lines. And so what we're gonna do is right click, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna show hidden lines. Click close, and then it does that for you. And so if you want your view to show the hidden lines, all you gotta do is click on it, make it active, right click, or sorry, double click. There we go. Visible and hidden edges, click close. Alrighty, so we can let's go ahead and do that for that as well. Alrighty, so all we need to do now is throw in some of our center lines between those two, those two. And so in retrospect, we may not need all these views for this box, but we can kind of see the point here. Let's go ahead for the sake of time, do the next piece, and I'll show you what I mean by creating new references. So I'm gonna click on new sheet, base view, and we're gonna create a new model. Um, because what we're doing here is, uh, since we are showing specific parts of it and we haven't had a reference to show the only the next parts we need we're going to go ahead and click ok on that so this size let's go and make it a little let's do a you know three fourths and then for this one we're only going to do the crankshaft so i'm going to right click and suppress all except selected and then this allows me to go ahead and then do my views of my crankshaft and then start to dimension it. So I'm going to move this on over. Right click project view. Right click OK. Make your isometric shaded. Click close. Add in all your dimensions and you're good to go. There's only one thing that we're missing here for some of these drawing files so far. And that would be a bill of materials. I can get this to move for me. There we go. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on tables, reference. We're gonna reference this view. So click on tables. There we go. Now I don't like how it selected that view, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try that again. Tables, we're gonna select this one. And there we go. We can see that we have our parts. We have parts descriptions and things like that. If you want to, you can right click and you can edit this view. You can edit sign of some things that are in that table. If you want to add some stuff, take some stuff away. But we noticed that, and here's the nice part, is that all of my build materials, since I did those material selections as I was building, it automatically threw that in there for me. Shows quantity, part number, we are looking good. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll catch you on the next video.